Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to another video of Triple Grace for today. My name is Michael, I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is Pi and Phi, the Spirit and the Light. Brothers and sisters, this is an amazing revelation. And I must admit that this revelation was not given to me, but to my friend Ellen over at at ministry revealed. But nevertheless, I have to bring it forth here so that all the warriors will know about it. Because it confirms so many things. We know that we have seven years, seven years, seven years. Seven easy years, seven years of seals, and seven years of trumpets. And we know that the first seven years was all about the spirit. As it is written in the scripture, I will pour out my spirit over the world and your old men will have dreams and your young men will have visions. The first seven years. The preparation for the bride. And the second seven years, we know, it is all about the light. The light of the world to return to the earth. And that of course, when we talk about the light, we should also talk about the fake light. Who is the fake light? Lucifer. His name alone says that he is a light bearer. And we talked about it many times and I do not want to go into details now here. But it is amazing that when you go into a source like Eastward, for example, and you look up the Greek word for spirit, then you will find that the first symbol of that word is pi. And when you look up the light, light in Greek, you will find that the first symbol of light is pi. That alone is 100% not a coincidence. That Pi is the spirit and Phi is the light. We are coming into the seven years of the light. And in, within these seven years, we have two and a half years of harvest, 42 months of Antichrist being the ruler of the new world order. Why a new world order? Because the old world order was destroyed by the stone throw when the war against the sins will commence. So it is all about people, chosen vessels, that will have their destiny to show forth the light and the truth of the kingdom of heaven to a fallen world. So that other people can break their bond to the enemy, to the world, to Babylon and to the sleeping churches and can come out and walk the narrow and righteous path towards Mount Zion at the sixth seal when the Lord will come back for the rest of the Lamb and the rest for the one who sits on the throne, the Father, and when the rapture of the church will take place. It is a time that we call the 2-2-2 two, two, two season. Why 2-2-2 two, two, two season? Because it's two for witnesses, but also the Lord will send you out two by two to be a witness of the light. You will not be the light. Jesus is the light, but you will be a witness to the light. And he will send you, the Father will send you as he has sent Jesus in his first coming to save and rescue the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now you will also be sent as two sons and daughters of the Most High into dark places to bring the light so that the lost sheep can hear the true voice of the shepherd, what is Jesus Christ, through you, and so that you can guide them home into the open arms of the Father at the sixth seal into the rapture of the church. Until then, the lost sheep Everyone who was not awoken in time 
will have the opportunity to clean their garment in the blood of the lamb. That is the second seven years, the, the, the uh, theme of light. Go back to some videos that we have produced about uh, 7,000 years, the 21,000 years, the first 7,000 years of, 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 of creation in a certain way, not a creation of man, but a, the establishment of the world was about the spirit. Genesis 1. And then comes the light. Genesis 1, verse 3. And the first creation. And who created the Elohim? But I do not want to go too deep inside. But it's the time of the light that we are entering now, with the second seven years. The seal tribulation. And that is the symbol of fire. And phi is the golden ratio. And I will make another video. I do not know if I make it today or a little bit later because I have uh, something very urgent to attend to for my health on Sunday and Monday. So then I will not be available for much of videos, for much of presentation or for any new revelation. So please bear with me. I will bring another video out. Phi, the golden ratio. and what does it mean for us? I will give you a small hint. In the golden ratio, you have one bigger number and one smaller number. And they must come together so that the golden ratio will be fulfilled. I think you know already where I am going with that. That's the reason why Phi is a light. And the witnesses to the light. And Pi is a spirit. Go and check it out. Go to ESORT, find out the spirit, the first letter is pi, and the light, the first letter is phi. Very, very important to know that everything what God has created, as we have said in the masterpiece of the end times, right from the beginning, right from the 21,000 years ago, right from the beginning of all, it was all prepared and the plan was made also for the end. Only if you know the beginning, you can know the end. And only if you know and live the beginning and have that understanding and the truth right from the beginning, you will not taste this. Brothers and sisters, the time is here for us to enter a new life and a whole new world. It is all coming to pass. June is a very, very important month. And more and more revelations are coming so that the book of Daniel is opened up, that everyone knows the truth. If they understand it, if they will pick it up, that is up to them. If they will deny it, it's up to them. But they will see our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and our bridegroom standing so very soon in Jerusalem. And then the goats will be separated from the sheep. The ones who proclaim him as the Antichrist will be the goats. And the ones that will say it's our Lord and Savior will be the sheep. It is all there. And Pi is the spirit of the first seven years. And why is the light of the next seven years that are starting right now that will lead us to the holy mountain, to Mount Zion, where we will be raptured into paradise, together with the harvest, together with the churches that have woken up or that were woken up by the truth, through the harvest workers and warriors, through the church of Ephesus and the church of Smyrna that is working. And after the harvest, two and a half years of harvest, after that time frame, we will go into the safe havens during the time of the Antichrist, the new Pharaoh of New Egypt, Mr. O, so that none of the harvest, no soul will be lost. And the Lord will protect us there. There are many people who were called by the Lord to build safe havens in the world, everywhere. They are in Africa, they are in Asia. I'm building one here. 
there in Canada, in the U.S., everywhere, are safe havens are getting built for that time. Brothers and sisters, I thought that might interest you, that Pi is the spirit and Phi is the light. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Aranasa.